Hey Frank, sorry this video took so long. I'm getting no support from customer support, so I'm gonna put this on my new YouTube channel for you so you can watch it there if you'd like. Um, from our lesson, a few reminders for you. Number one, we talked about not getting the hips so tilted and behind your heels. So it's kind of easy to do if you do knee flex first and feel like your hip sockets are sort of over your heels. They'll be a little bit back, but just try and avoid getting them way back and getting the lower back arched. So initially I kind of like to sink into the knees just a little bit as you're learning this. Feel like your kneecaps are over the end of your shoelaces and then allow your back to round a little bit to get to the golf ball. Okay, so a little bit of sink into the knees, a little bit of tilt, allow the back to comfortably kind of round to the ball and your feeling should be that you're a little bit on the balls of your feet at a dress, definitely not back on the heels, that would indicate too much butt back. Okay, then we did a little bit of tilt at a dress, which is easy to do if you use the Ernie Els address. So I'm into my good address position with my left hand on the club only, and without disturbing my shoulder alignment, I just reach under with the right hand, little tiny bump forward of the hips, and I'm good to go. Okay, so right hand under, super easy. The rest of what we talked about was your early backswing and your backswing. So you used to have a lot of roll and a lot of fan to the club face and we want to kind of make the club face stronger like we did with the tennis racket. So the feeling initially as you go back is that the left arm is going to slide up your left pec, which keeps your hands in and the club head out. And the face, when you get to this position, is gonna feel like it kind of matches your spine angle. So I'm okay with you missing it a little bit on the strong side at this point. From here, so left arm up chest, hands come in, club goes out, boom, face pretty much matches your spine angle. As you go to the top now, your hands need to elevate ever so slightly. So that's gonna involve your right side, your right upper arm leaving your side. So you finish your turn, hands go up just a little. There's a little bit of room here and the club shaft is roughly over the outside of your right shoulder. So the backswing work for you is left arm doesn't rotate a lot, kind of elbow feels like it points down at the golf ball, left elbow, left elbow, left arm slides up the pec, shaft matches or um, club face matches your spine angle. From here, finish your turn and a little bit of elevation to the hands to get you to the top. So that's it for the first lesson. Good luck working on it. And again, sorry it took so long to get this video to you. See you soon.